Hey guys, uh, welcome to another live training. We do these every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the videos. Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback on the back end, emails, messages, stuff like that, and I really appreciate uh, all the comments here. But uh, we're going to be starting a new series. And really, this is kind of born out of, out of you guys. Um, we recent, recently released a, a new case study um, where we basically used one of our tools, actually a couple of our tools, the free photo branding tool and then uh, our LCM text gateway uh, system uh, on Zillow. And so we post branded photos, uh, we claim our own homes, uh, put them up for sale by owner, and we've been generating an unbelievable number of leads with almost no work at all. It takes us five minutes to claim the listing and put a photo up, and then we've been generating two to, you know, sometimes uh, three leads a day from these, uh, from these properties. And so the idea is cool, and I'm going to put a link to the case study. If you haven't read it yet, uh, I think... You know, these are these are free tools. Anybody can use them. Anybody can do this. But, uh, you know, uh, I put a link down below where you can read the case study. But one of the side effects of that is I'm getting a bunch of questions from uh, agents who say, okay, that's great. You get leads. What in the world do you say to them? And so we're going to be starting a series. I don't want to make this a 45 minute long video. So we're going to do this in kind of bite sized chunks over the next few weeks where we talk about exactly what we do say to these customers so we can uh, build relationships with them and ultimately, hopefully, uh, build trust so that we can close the deal. Um, but the starting point for that is how in the world do we even reach these customers? Because it doesn't matter if we have grand ideas about what to say to them if we never actually get them on the phone. And in fact, I found a lot of agents struggle with just that part. So I'm going to talk today just about how to get people on the phone, the most people possible. Um, so the first thing, uh, first tip uh, that I would give you, I'm going to give you three tips today. The first tip uh, is always call within 24 hours. Now some of you are thinking that's, that's a no-brainer, of course, I call within five minutes. And I know a lot of trainers out there say two minutes or five minutes or 20 minutes or some other arbitrary time standard where, and they'll, they'll talk about it like the lead self-destructs Mission Impossible style if, if uh, you don't reach them within five minutes. Um, but what we've actually found is that as long as you call within 24 hours, you're in good shape. And the main reason for that is there's two things that we're trying to accomplish by reaching them quickly. Number one, we want to be first. And if we can be first, uh, we have statistically a great chance to actually end up doing business with this customer. Um, and, you know, you know agents, uh, unlikely that other agents are beating down the door, unless, of course, you're getting the leads from one of these aggregators that are sending them out to six different people at the same time. Well, then, yeah, you have to call them within 30 seconds if you can. But in our scenario, we're generating leads uh, that are only ours. I'm not competing with any other agents over these leads. And so uh, as long as I call them within 24 hours, I'm in good shape. The second thing that I'm trying to accomplish by calling them in that time frame is I want them to have, have some frame of reference of who I am or why I would be calling. You know, if I wait a couple of days or a week, um, they're going to go, what website? What, who are you talking about? Um, and because I generate leads all from my website, I want them to have, remember having been on my site and what they got from it um, when I call. So uh, that's, the, that's the first tip. Again, call within 24 hours. Um, the second tip uh, is always um, use what we call a five strikes in your out rule. Now, I'm, I love email. I love texting. I use both of those to great extent. Uh, when I'm dealing with both customers and just, of course, personally. But the problem with email and texting, and for that matter, I'll throw in voicemail in, into, this, uh, into this pot, um, is they're very easy to ignore and they're very difficult to begin a relationship with. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is, um, you know, these customers are primarily in phase one of the buying cycle, which we'll talk about a little bit later. I don't want to unpack it all right now. But uh, what that means is they typically don't think they need an agent and they don't really want to talk to an agent. And so if I lead out with a text or an email or voicemail, they're going to go, oh, that's nice. It's a real estate agent. It's a good thing I don't need one of those right now. And you almost never get a response. In fact, some of you are probably sitting there nodding like, yep, I've sent out lots of emails and nobody ever responds to me. 
Well, that's why. Uh, they don't think they need you right now. Um, so you always want to call. And when you call, again, you want to be persistent, but at some point you want to cut the cord. Um, there's no use trying to bang your head against the wall trying to reach someone who doesn't want to be reached or doesn't want to be reached by you anyways. So uh, when I say five strikes and you're out, mean I call them once. If they don't answer, I hang up the phone. I call them twice. If they don't answer, I hang up the phone and so on and so forth until the fifth time. That's when I'll leave a message. I might send an email, might even put them on a drip campaign or something like that if I have one available. And then uh, I cut them. That's it. Um, I'm going to work the numbers game here. I'm going to know that if I try to reach enough people, I'm going to get a hold of enough people. Okay, and I'm not going to sweat the ones that I can't get a hold of. Again, some of this requires that you have a steady supply of leads, which is a whole other question <laughs> uh, for some of you. Some of you think, well, that must be a nice luxury that he can just cut out some leads. Absolutely it is. I don't think that that's a luxury so much as any agent can attain that if you have the right tools and the right training on how to use those tools. And of course, we provide them. I'm biased. <laughs> um, so the third tip is if you're having difficulty reaching someone, always call, at least try to call between the hours of 6 and 8 p.m. And that's because statistically, the greatest chance to reach someone is between those hours. And that doesn't mean that you have to make all of your calls during that time period. Uh, but again, if, if you're having difficulty reaching someone, at least make one of those five strikes, one or a couple of those five strikes during that time period. So you're, you're you know, giving yourself the best opportunity to reach uh, your customers. And if you do it that way, uh, and, and again, we're talking about general internet leads. We're not talking about referral customers or anything, just general internet leads. Uh, you're going to get a hold of a little over half of your, your leads, uh, which if any of you have an experience with internet leads, probably uh, you're, you're getting a hold of a lot less than that. Um, so uh, if you use these techniques, you're going to get a hold of half of your leads. And if you have a decent flow of leads coming in, uh, this can be huge in terms of the pro setting up your further prospecting. Now next week we're going to talk a little bit about the phases of the buying cycle uh, and then the following week we're actually going to talk about what to say. And like I said, uh, I, I want to build this from, you know, foundation, layers. We can't start with what to say if we're not even getting a hold of people. And we can't get a hold of people or we can't uh, jump right into what to say if we don't have a good understanding of what uh, these customers um, you know, where they're at in the buying cycle and what, where their head's at and what they're, you know, what they're trying to do, um, you know, as, as they are, are on your website searching for properties. So again, I want to build this layers by layers and, um, you know, we'll see you again next week, Thursday uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be doing this training again. We're going to be talking for the next few weeks just on prospecting and, and how to approach these customers. Um, so, uh, look forward to it. Look forward to seeing you guys then. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Uh, I'm more than happy to, uh, to kind of address, um, the specifics of what I'm talking about in generalities. You guys have a great day.